And you've been making vision boards that you don't believe in yourself yet you compare yourself to other people. Sometimes you're jealous about other people. Like why would the universe do something nice or kind for you when these are your emotions? This is your frequency. We really don't know tomorrow. So why are you not taking advantage of today? say y'all like I'm American, but low-key, I'm American. Spoken and purpose won't be discouraged. I'm known as this beautiful child. I know my body is a vessel. I know my voice is a power to change. people i'm just here to give to you i'm here to give to your soul i'm here to give to your mind i'm just here to give you this energy as you start off your week happy monday my loves if you're new to my channel my name is shanice and on here we talk about reinventing yourself while becoming your own dream woman we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year and on top of that the weather is changing our mood is changing and always fluctuating based on the day and honestly we have not had any sun so far in toronto and i wanted to take you through a week of me just getting my life together especially coming back from the beautiful europe i'm taking my time to just get myself back into the groove pull myself out of a slump and really mentally prepare my mind and my reality for the changes that are ahead in this season um especially with the holidays coming up having so much on your plate to do and i just wanted to calm your spirits i wanted to add to the momentum as we move forward as your dream woman and who you're becoming and i also always want to just say thank you so much for being in this journey with me i'm loving my hair and i know you guys are loving my hair so if you have any questions about my hair the details are in my description so uh, let me just get comfortable let me get comfortable you know god provided and he always provides and that's kind of like the feeling like that's kind of the aura of this video of just not worrying about what is going to happen next and really just letting go of the thought or the fear or the doubt or resentment or anxiety just letting go of unnecessary uncertainty and feelings that don't allow you to progress forward and so off the plane i was instantly jet lagged i was so tired and on monday i decided to fill my schedule with client calls and training and just push through that day okay it was exhausting, but it was so worth it when I get to talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I did a few things for myself the day I got back. I made sure that I was doing my steps. So at my mom's house, I had gotten her a walking pad. And so instantly in the morning, I got up and I did some steps. Like I didn't do 10,000 steps. I haven't done, let's be real, I haven't done 10,000 steps this week only because I was just doing what I could. And I always talk about that 5%. Like you always have to do the bare minimum that's going to actually help you and maintain my, my shape. And also when I move my body, I feel way more productive, way more alert. And I'm proud of myself for even trying to do the bare minimum. That is so important when it comes to building your dream girl. You're going to have so many things to always do and, and, and just show up for. And we can't always be 100%. So I did my bare minimum steps. Honey, I woke up 
and I did them in my pajamas. And listen, what it doesn't matter if, especially if you're in your house and you got clothes, you can just literally hop onto that walking pad, do your steps. And go into the shower so that's exactly what i did and then i had a new unit waiting for me off the plane for those that actually don't know like i had my last two units like what you've seen on entire time of you meeting me and knowing me on youtube i've only had two units that have lasted me like a year to almost two years and i thought it was time to literally like invest in another one and so quality to me is everything and that fresh feeling is what i needed for my hair Hi babes, it's Monday. Let's get this wig together. I broke my main phone. So I'm using the iPhone 12 right now. Oh, it's beautiful. I woke up at like 3 a.m. because, you know, I'm still adjusting to the time. Woke up, couldn't go to sleep. So I decided to spend that time with God and I opened up my Bible, which I usually use the Bible app, but because I don't have the Bible app on this phone, I just opened up the Bible and I was like, okay, I still want to do my devotional. I still want to learn. As I evolve and grow into who I'm meant to become, I just feel like this is my opportunity to develop myself. The perimeter with my powder foundation just well, i use bio silk for my hair serum it's time to eat my pre-workout meal and i wanted to show you guys i'm of course having chicken and rice and I added some Himalayan salt. I always salt my meals because when you cook at home, you're gonna have less sodium. And sodium is actually good for you, just not excessive amount of sodium that you'll find in fast food. I'm just going to add some sweet and heat mustard to my meal. I do not like mustard, but this sweet and heat makes the meal. Like if you do a burger bowl or a taco bowl, it is mm, like you don't even feel like you're eating healthy. I love to do bowls with like shredded lettuce and a lot of ingredients. I'm adjusting to the time difference. Your girl is surviving. And so I wanted to show you guys me in survival mode. I am whipping out my camera because I really want to start using my camera. So I have the Sony ZV-E10 and I've had this since January, but I always record my videos on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, but again, I broke it. And so it's just getting repaired while I'm using my iPhone 12. I got a new lens. Uh, if you were watching my one of my workout videos that um, one of my workout videos in Maribella, I at the end of the video I stopped a creator that was like making videos and I was like what lens do you recommend when you're vlogging or just like if I want to take pictures I can use the same lens to take my pictures and my videos and so he recommended 50 millimeters so this is what I got off of Amazon what it looks like and so this is the lens that came with my original camera and so this one apparently is better. So after I'm done eating, I'm gonna try it out because I wanna film. And I need to look for a filming studio in Toronto while I'm here. So I Wow. Girl, I am that girl. Exactly. I do yes. yes. Oh. Feeling like I probably do push into the category of under eating. Just be finished my third call of the day. And so now I am going to be hopping into another call in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And then I have a little bit of gap after that. So I got to make sure that I finish on time so I can head to the gym. Okay, the holidays is yeah. coming up. Oh my goodness, I'm still jet lagged. I'm gonna go and try and record two to three videos. 
I'm like not so dressed, but I brought my outfits. I'm actually renting a studio space that I told you I found yesterday. And so I just got here. I wanted to make sure I was on time, like ahead of time. So I'm about eight minutes early. Great. I even pumped some gas. Great. Because I didn't do that yesterday, nor did I go to the gym. I'm so exhausted. Today's the day my Paris vlog dropped. And I was working on I was working on that until like 11.30 last night. And before finishing that vlog, I I was sending out emails to all my client calls that I had calls with yesterday. So that's what it looks like. Like everyone wants to be an entrepreneur or a YouTuber or this or that. Like nothing is easy. You have to put in the work. Like you have to show up. It doesn't matter. Like whether you're working for somebody or working for yourself, you always have to put in work because <laughs> it's not gonna work on its own all right so let's go into the studio and get this started because i'm so tired i think my day consists of having a nap and going grocery shopping and so i'm just trying my best this week i'm just literally trying my best and just making good choices even though i'm not a hundred percent you're not always gonna feel 100%, but you just try what you can. Like, put myself together, I'm gonna try what I can. At least I tried, at least I came, at least I showed up, at least I'm showing up. That's it. Beautiful. All right, ladies, I filmed two videos today. I'm feeling a little bit more awake. Oh my God, this right here is gorgeous. The lighting was perfect. I didn't need any light aside from the natural light. I'm just in love, in love, in love, in love. And yeah, it was definitely worth booking this studio. I only managed two videos, but that's okay. Um, I'm just tired, so I really couldn't bang out a lot of videos today. But definitely worth investing in switching up your content space. Time to get our nutrition on point. I'm so excited to re-up on some groceries. I definitely feel like Grabbing your groceries is the first step to getting yourself back together when you're looking to reset. So I think I'm going to grab everything in bulk. That way I do not have to come back to Costco often. Let me just show you guys quickly what I have in my cart. I got two packs of chicken, two packs of egg whites. Um, this is for my mom. I am trying out some sheet yogurt. Um, I also picked up some battered paddock. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't usually buy um, pre-made anything. Um, we got some greens. We got some spinach, zucchini. And, you know, we obviously had to grab the spring mix. And then I also got some eggs. 
And then I want to, I don't know about this mirror. I needed an LED mirror. So yeah, this is pretty much it in the cart. It's only Tuesday and so um, my main focus is just to provide nutrients to my body and as much rest so that I have brain power and so it's so important for me to just re-up on those groceries. I am not meal prepping tonight. I'm going to meal prep tomorrow and luckily I have food cooked. I didn't go to the gym yet. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. So tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and I'm going to go to the gym. But then I'm also going to have groceries, healthy foods. Let me not forget smart sweets for my sugar cravings. These hold me down when I don't feel like baking. No sugar. I got a habit. Sometimes it's hard to break. Yeah, I'm trying to stay away. Hey, hey. trying hard not to break. Uh, uh. It's easier said than done. I'm already gone in my mind. Ooh, I hear my mama like, Why am I not fucking perfect? Why can't I kick this shit? to going to Europe I left from Toronto so from my mom's house I made sure to go grocery shopping and when I went grocery shopping I made sure to get additional protein to leave in the freezer so I always talk about meal prepping ahead of schedule especially if you know you're gonna have a busy week and so your girl always has something in the freezer just because I know my week is so busy I made sure that I defrost my protein made my chicken made some ground beef and i was good to go for a few days first day i didn't make it to the gym i was a little butthurt about not making it to the gym because i i have these new goals like we're gonna have new goals for our body and we're like ah i'm so pumped i'm so energized to go to the gym and then something happens or you know your day is just exhausting and after i poured my energy into everyone i was like i'm so tired <laughs> my new fitness goals i think i mentioned it maybe on live is to build a lot of muscle like build more muscle build my frame and lose a little bit of body fat now i know when people look at me they're like girl you don't have any body fat on but i was thinking about how to answer this question or how to answer this comment and everyone has to set a standard for what they want to look like and how they want to feel and so you should never strive to look like anybody else I don't strive to look like anybody else. I just know what works for me and how I want to look and what makes me feel my best without being malnourished, without feeling sluggish or unhappy with my body. I give myself grace, especially when I'm traveling and I can't be 100% on my meal plan or in my routine. I give myself grace when there's moments of struggle and there's moments of I I ate a whole chocolate bar and I did eat a whole chocolate bar this week. Okay, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. Y'all need to stop beating yourself up about it and just move forward in planning out, okay, this is where I'm going to make intentional decisions towards my goals. 
I did I filmed two videos back to back and I posted those videos last week and honestly I was still brain dead while I was making those videos it was insane so I knew I had to scale back I had to scale back and just pour into my energy pour into my soul and I know when I get into this mood of feeling like I gotta do 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 I need to scale back because I know we're rushing to get a lot of things done in 2024 before 2025 but it, the like if God keeps giving you another day he means to live it intentionally not to rush through it and when you rush through things you don't really produce quality and so I was like you know what I need to just scale back and open my bible and so right now I'm currently reading the book of proverbs now my mom was like oh you know Tasha Cobbs is coming to Toronto I was like I've never been to a gospel concert and this year as I really really worked on building a relationship with God I was like I can't miss the opportunity to go to my first gospel concert with my mom and so we went and it was so life-changing Who are you excited to see? 
city, that's all right, because the devil is a liar. And God is exalted, that's okay, listen. Maverick City, Tasha Cobbsliner, Jay Walkers, every single person up here, the reason that we came to Toronto was not just to worship with you, it was not just to encourage you with songs, it was to minister the good news of Jesus Christ. If you are in this room and you do not have a relationship with Jesus, if you don't know him, if you're not walking with God, we want to give you the opportunity to do that tonight. We want to invite you into that. And we're not inviting you into us, into songs, into a personality, into skill. We're inviting you into truth. We're inviting you into love. We're inviting you into peace. We're inviting you into the presence of God, into something that only God can do. The gospel is that God loved the world so much that he sent his son to die on a cross, a death that we should have died because of our sin. And he was resurrected from the grave to bring us into eternal life. you guys about it tomorrow but it's time to take this makeup off my face and go to bed but that concert was so good that was my first gospel concert and there was tons and tons of young people I think majority was like young people so that's beautiful to see but uh, good night guys I'm gonna try not to cry because I'm feeling a little emotional but just oh, emotional in like gratitude. How do I say this? Like why? <laughs> I'm not getting my period. I literally just finished. Um, just gratitude overall. For God putting me on this earth to experience life. I know life can be hard and we go through so many obstacles that just test us test our faith and I was saying this on my live it's like when you live of this world you have a hard time managing your obstacles and your challenges and things that happen to you out of your own control but when you put your faith in God and you have more faith and you trust and you believe I don't know who needs to hear this but um, it's like you either trust him or you don't you can't be like oh I trust you, Lord, but then you're sitting up there worrying about something. You either trust him or you simply don't. You can't allow fear or worry to creep in because that breaks the trust. So you either trust, you either gonna trust or you're not. And you believe that it's not happening to you, but it's happening for you. And God will never, never put his soldiers through anything they can't handle. It's way more refreshing for who you become in the process and what you and how you use that and, and how you use your pain and how you use your obstacle to fuel your path forward. And I was like, wow, like it took me 30 years to embrace this mindset of even when I'm going through it, I'm never alone. Even when you're going through it, you are never alone and it's so important to take a step back it's, it's so important for you to breathe it's so important to for you to have a wusa and to just really pay attention to a lot of areas where you haven't healed and who's around you and who is affecting your emotional health and your mental wellness and your goals just so who is around you what are you giving your attention to
So you'll see my first post that says, hey guys, I'm literally off Instagram pouring into myself. I want to get wiser. I want to get smarter. These are my goals for 2025. Like I want to be wiser. And as I, you know, develop myself on the inside, I want to develop myself on the outside. And like, I love this clean girl look. I love who I'm becoming in the process. I feel so beautiful and I'm feeling that energy from the inside that's radiating on the outside and also just center my soul I want to be a little bit softer there's just a new aura that I'm seeking right now as I transition and move forward in my life being present in your emotions in your mental state like checking in checking in with yourself like are you okay like are you overwhelmed how are you feeling like I in a week, I have not seen my friends. I have not really talked to them either. Like I made a few plans for later on in the week, but nothing too crazy. Like I was like, let's go for tea or let's do something very low. Let's go to the spa. But I just didn't want anything overstimulated. When you're very exhausted, you're burnt out, it's not a good idea to be on your phone scrolling and comparing yourself. It's not a good idea to be going out to drink or going to the bar or going to look for love or lost or a good night or being a one night stand or just losing yourself for the moment it's not worth it it's really important that you analyze and check analyze how you really feel and check in with yourself y'all want to be so quick to check in with the internet to check in what in y'all want to be so quick to check in with the internet or to check in with what other people have going on in their life rather than really analyzing your own life and how you're really feeling instead of choosing coping mechanisms that aren't getting you forward like how long like you're gonna you're gonna go into you're gonna go into 2025 making a vision board let's be real because how many vision boards have you made yearly and yet you're still making the vision boards you still believe that they're gonna come true for you Yet you go in there with the same behaviors and the same mindset and you expect a different outcome. You have not addressed a lot of the things that you need to heal from and become aware of and pay attention to. And you need to slow down. It's not work harder. Okay. It's work smarter. So that is what I like. That's the chat that I was having with myself. And I'm feeling so good. Like at the time I'm making this video. I'm feeling really good going into the week and I just wanted to give you this energy. Good morning.
on your full body, but it's training your core. It also enhances your back. If you have a strong core, you'll have a strong back. It's gonna be working the entire body. Make sure you call it because I'm scared already. Go for 10 seconds. Okay, so I'll show you what to do. You're doing it. It's a plank. This is an elbow plank. Okay, you can also do a high plank, but you're doing an elbow plank. And this is how you challenge your entire body. body high. Hi, hi, hi. Nice plank pump. Show them how this is done. 60 years old. 61. <laughs> Some people would just take the 60. to the floor as you alternate. Then you can also speed it up. You gotta say that again. I said back then nobody could afford gym. Yeah. So. And there was so much gym around right now. So guys, we are currently working out and there's tons of families here. A lot of parents teaching their little kids how to use the gym. And so my mom was saying that back in the days, the mom's parents overall just didn't have this. And, um, yeah, now I'm teaching my mom how to use the gym, but it's so nice that there are mothers and fathers teaching their kids here. We're trying to prevent any weird faces. So this is where you breathe. Like, good job, mom. She was making all these faces. I was like, no, no, no. You gotta be really in tune with your body. You gotta take your time and breathe, especially when it starts to feel a little bit more painful. It's brand new. You did a good job. Is that better? Yes, exactly. Because those faces were not they were not it. <laughs> they were not giving. They were not giving. Okay, the ladies in the comments are teaching you. Because <laughs> who taught my mom it's not giving? So a man was giving the women a lecture or giving women advice about working out and how important it is to have muscle because you will reap the benefits in your old age. He said the workout you do today, the exercise you prioritize today, you will see in 20 years. You will see this, you will see the results. 
you will see the reward in the future. And that goes to the Bible. You reap what you sow. This is a good pace. Make sure you're breathing. <laughs> life together I'm getting myself together this week so I'm not really focused on heavy lifting so I just want to take you through the process of making our breakfast today and so when I'm making my protein when I'm making my protein pancakes I'm just gonna use a blender you can use a Nutribullet you can use any blender I just don't have time to use my arms to whisk it up plus half a banana to do one cup of organic oats one cup of egg whites we're gonna do two eggs you can do two is my coffee creamer it is an oat based creamer there we go guys there's the batter that you can keep in your fridge and it can last about a week and so you're always gonna have your option of protein pancakes for your high protein breakfast or say you have cravings, you can also throw some chocolate chips in here. I think I have some chocolate chips left behind. Yes, I do. Um, so you can throw some fruits in here and you can always satisfy your cravings with this. I love savory, sweet. I like to have a batter pre-made already in my fridge. That way I do not have to work on it that way. I'm gonna get ready to make the toppings and I want this to be like a granola, banana, maple type of pancake. I took a half a banana, I'm gonna cut it up. It's frozen. You can warm it up and make it a little more mushy. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna blend it with, we're gonna smash it together in the granola and add some maple syrup. Right, we just want the flavor. And honestly, there's no recipe for this. I literally just make a concoction. Let's just turn down the stove. I just want to like blend it up a little bit. It's got like a thicker base for the topping. Right. We're gonna add some, do some honey. We go plate it nicely. Okay, so this is how much we have left for the rest of the week. I'm gonna just pour a little because you actually don't need a lot once you use banana. You don't really need a lot of maple syrup unless you really like your pancakes drenched. And so I like to romanticize my plate. I do it in lines and then you're done. So this is what it looks like, y'all. I say y'all like I'm American, but low key, I'm American. Um, yes, are you excited, mom? Oh my gosh. If you guys enjoyed baking with me some high protein pancakes and you'd like to see more, comment below that you are enjoying types of content like this where I'm showing you how I'm getting my life together and how I actually maintain my shape and eat healthy because there's nothing like trying to get your life together and choosing bad habits that aren't going to help you get forward. Okay, I'll see you guys. It's like a really nice fall meal, hey? Yeah. Good. Good. Awesome. You know, imagine not investing in your parents when they struggled to invest in you. Yeah. All right, guys, new lens. <laughs> Gorgeous. Looks really good. Oh, can you see my nails? I got my eyebrows done too. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We're getting close to feeling, you know, good. <laughs> Love you guys. A few tips that I'd like to give you when you're pulling yourself out of a slump during the winter arc just overall in life is calm down. Calm down, slow down, pull yourself back, and just sit with yourself for a second. I would definitely recommend going to yoga, 
um, doing some deep meditation, throwing on some lo-fi music, some peaceful music, some worship music. I know when I'm listening to worship music, that really gets me in my feels and I get to reflect on all that God has brought me out of. A lot of the things that I really thought I couldn't make it through or goals that I achieved that I never thought I would achieve. And I'm not out here achieving anything without God. So Anytime I take the time to reflect on where I'm coming from and how far I've come, it just motivates me to not give up and to just really take the time to sit, be still and know that God is here. God is always with you and he has a purpose over your life. He created you and put you here for a reason. And that is why you need to sit still and talk with him and like just really connect whether you believe in God or not, like sit with the universe and really just try and manifest that frequency that you need to bring and attract those goals towards you that lifestyle that you're looking for that person the people the friends the opportunities towards you because if you keep going out of a desperate anxious energy honey you're bound to fall <laughs> and you're bound to stay down number two is going to be set an alarm like you need alarm clocks when it's like waking up you know wake up you need to get right into the day i say get right into the day i don't need you rushing through your day i need you intentionally waking up in peace waking up with a soft energy no matter how yesterday went I would personally wake up with some calming music, and a soft smelling aroma, time with God where you're praying or you're or you're journaling in your gratitude book and you're just like being thankful and grateful is like written all over the Bible, written all over in the Bible. I talk about this all the time. I don't see how God can bless you with more. I don't see how the universe can bless you with more if you aren't grateful for what you have. If you keep comparing yourself to other people, stop making a damn vision board because the universe is not going to give you anything else. <laughs> You've been making vision boards that you don't believe in yourself, yet you compare yourself to other people. Sometimes you're jealous about other people. Like, why would the universe do something nice or kind for you when these are your emotions? This is your frequency. Why do you expect a different outcome if this is who you are? This is what you believe, that you're not good enough. So why is the universe going to give you anything when you don't feel like you're good enough? When you aren't happy, genuinely happy for other people. When you don't know, or you don't even know how to pull yourself out of a slump. Give yourself grace. Be compassionate and empathetic towards yourself. But you do that for other people. Yet you expect the universe to come through for you. And so how you wake up, especially when you're anxious, especially when you're exhausted and you're tired and you're just pushing through, fill yourself back up with whatever you need that's going to help you move forward. For me, it was God. And so I've been going through the book of Proverbs and learning a lot. From there, I'm always going to make sure that my appearance looks good. I took my time with scheduling, ma scheduling in maintenance. So I got my nails done later on in the week and I got them at a shorter length. Oh my God, they're so sexy. They're so sexy. I'm feeling so classy. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so sophisticated. I'm feeling so, like this look makes me look smarter. I mean, I'm smart, but I just feel, I feel so good. And I had gotten a fresh new unit. I took care of my hair underneath or the units that I had brought with me to Europe need a deep clean, okay? And so having a fresh new unit while I take care of those is like so helpful when I don't have to think about, oh my God, how am I going to wear my hair? Because a lot of the times when you want to go get your hair done and you don't know how to do the in-between process, you need a unit to slap on your head, okay? It's going to help you not have to think about, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to look like a bum. I'm going to look like this. I'm going to look like that. No, have a unit that is ready to go crisp. Like, and then always just make sure sure you're taking care of your body and so I got to train my mom I'm here really just to train my mom before I head back to the city it's really nice to just you know go back to the gym with her and see what she's doing in the gym and the more time I spend with her the more time I'm like wow like 
a lot of mamas, a lot of people just didn't know or just don't know. And it's, I feel like, you know, when I was at this gospel concert, I was like, God, you really put this, you really gave me the biggest heart. You gave me the biggest soul. And you gave me a mission that does keep me up at night. And I'm like, why, man? Like, I just get so emotional when I just see, you know, we're going to get old one day. We're going to get wrinkly and fragile. And she's fragile. You know, she's like, oh, sh my, sh my shoulder, my this, my that, my back. And, you know, she told me that her back is now improving now that she's working out. I got her doing a lot of glutes and stuff. That's going to help with your lower back, especially if you have lower back pain. I'm also helping her train her core and just show her a lot of exercises that are just going to help her. If you feel like you're slow and sluggish now and you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, baby. Like, you're going to get old one day. Like, time, like, you're here. Like, we're going to be six feet deep under one day. And this is the time to choose yourself. This is the time to really make it happen and stop waiting. You're going to be six feet deep one day. Why are you waiting? Why are you putting it off? Why are you putting your health off? When your health is health is well health is number one when you feel your best everything else in life will be because of that when you can move when you feel energetic when you feel great when you feel healthy you're gonna feel your life will be a result of how you took care of yourself how many people are struggling now as they age their back hurts you know they've got diabetes they've got this illness they got that they this, 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 this you got kids you got grandkids you don't love your life you don't love your life i'm gonna say it straight it's not about a look it's not about looking like a supermodel it's not about having an etched six pack it's literally because you want to try and have the best life and also be around for the people that love you so you're selfish and I'm so grateful that God put me in this profession because I'm so knowledgeable that I get to help my mom. And you don't have to be in this profession to help the people around you and encourage them. But if I give you, if you take anything from the words that I say today, it's like, y'all going to be six feet deep. Like the minute you're here, you're alive. We all have to fucking, van we all have to vanish one day. Like, what are you waiting for? You know? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all. Okay, hit that like button. Okay, please hit that like button. Let this algorithm plop this video through everybody's mind today. Because everybody, I feel like, needs a wake-up call. Do help that. The words that I'm giving you guys in this one today, you know, this was like off the top, like not really planned. I didn't know if I wanted to show you guys the week in my life or days in my life. I don't really know. If you guys enjoy this kind of content and the real and the raw that you're getting from me, I mean, you always do. But if you kind of like this kind of video, just like let me know. Um, let me know down below. But I just want to say I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for always just vibing with your girl and showing up on live in Zoom. I will be going live again this week. And yeah, hopefully we can chat very soon. Bye, ladies.